12 16 now quite a different uh, site right now than it was yesterday at this time. It was kind of like a snow rain mix yesterday where you were or depending where you were and today it's nice and blue skies. Man, it was real icy this morning for the commute and that's much improved. The sunshine while it's gorgeous right now going to start to fade behind mm. some increasing clouds next couple of hours, Kate, but looking good for heading outside this morning and now this afternoon in North Situate where we're doing some melting. A little spring gown down here on this first day of meteorological spring. We're only 11 days, a week and a half away from daylight saving spring forward vernal equinox a calendar version of spring beginning in just 19 days easter is 39 days away and memorial day just under 90 days away and look at how these high temperatures climb over the course of this meteorological spring season going from an average high today of 44 to 73 by the end of may Looking at our temperatures this morning with those lows in the 20s to around 30 degrees. It was icy. We're back up to 40 now in Providence, 44 in New Bedford and in the upper 30s. Still Glendale and Coventry dry skies on the radar locally and we'll stay that way into the afternoon. We may catch a sprinkler or flurry passing through here early this evening with more rain showers on the way for tonight. So high pressure has been keeping us dry today and this little batch of snow showers crossing New York State will mostly stay to the north of us. One or two of those sprinkles may sneak in and then we're keeping an eye on this batch of uh, snow in the western Great Lakes eventually passing through here as low pressure redevelops near us that will bring some rain showers for tomorrow morning. So here's that sprinkler flurry I mentioned around the time of the evening hours 11 o'clock at night still not a whole lot going on just cloudy skies and a few sprinkles or light showers rainfall tomorrow morning during the commute will not last all day only a couple of tenths of an inch of rain expected and then drier in the afternoon eventually getting back to some clearing later Later in the day and it'll be mild tomorrow near 50. In fact, the temperatures tonight dip into the lower to middle 30s early on, but then once the rain moves in, it starts to climb and five, six o'clock tomorrow morning, we're back into the upper 30s to lower 40s. The system that looks more impactful is the one for Friday evening and night. So I want to show you the setup here. It's dry during the evening commute and then that leading edge of wintry weather tries to push in late in the evening. We've got an area of low pressure coming off the mid Atlantic coastline and if it tracks very close to the shore line like this scenario shows we'd mix with and change over from snow and sleet to rain and freezing rain that low hugging the coast and Nantucket. If it stays a little bit further south, we'd hold on to the colder air longer and be prone to more in the way of accumulations. The bottom line is especially as you get north of the Mass Pike and into northern New England, this storm system could bring some significant snowfall accumulations and be disruptive to travel. So we'll be keeping an update on local conditions for that, but expecting to see a mix changing over to rain right now for Friday night and lingering showers, mostly rain showers for Saturday, especially in the morning around 42 degrees on Saturday and chilly with a flurry on Sunday. And